Hey there friends, Bobby here today. <clears throat> hey folks, today I want to show you something I've done. I'm actually, uh, might be helpful to you if you ever decide you want to put a big screen TV in your house or in your garage. Um, I'm actually working on, if you've seen my other videos, you've seen I'm working on insulating and putting up OSB in here. But So what I did is I actually uh, pre-wired a whole new outlet here up off the ground. This is up about, uh, probably about six foot five inches off of the ground where I'm standing. So is our cable line here because uh, we want to mount this TV up on the wall in this area. So what we did, we actually just come off of a existing outlet right over here and we ran us a wire out of the box, ran it through our studs here that were already had a hole drilled in them, come up here, drilled through our cross brace, ran the wire up, installed our box, installed our outlet. Now with the cable, what we did actually this runs up through our uh, ceiling so we just went ahead and dropped a dropped a line down through the wall installed us a box ran us a cable in there with an end already on it and we have this little uh, face plate right here that you can see basically all it is is you know this cable here will screw right into that and then after the OSB is put on the wall we'll actually install this and shove it down on there and put in the two screws and you got a nice little little uh, box there for your cable to screw right into and this will be uh, really cool because the TV will actually hide the drop cord you know that plugs into the outlet and the uh, cable so friends I just wanted to show that to you today and uh, also if you uh, are wanting to do this uh, on the inside of your home you want to add an extra outlet, you know, on a wall that already has sheetrock, <clears throat> you can do that. But let me recommend that if you move an outlet up, just come off of a, one of your existing outlets that's like right in line with it, and you should be able to go up through the studs. Now, typically in a home, you won't have this cross brace in between your studs here. Uh, I don't believe I've ever seen that on an interior wall in a home before. So you'll be able to come out of the box that would be down this area here and uh, run like a fiberglass rod up through the wall. Uh, figure out where you want to mount your box set and you don't have to actually nail it into the stud. They make boxes uh, that you can pick up at your home improvement store to where you can just cut a hole in the sheetrock anywhere and they have little flip tabs that flip out and you screw them down and that actually locks the box to the sheetrock. So you could go ahead and cut out a hole and then run a rod up through here, uh, attach your wire into it, pull you a new piece of wire down through here to make your connection down here, down low where you normally would have an outlet. And then you could go ahead and uh, wire your outlet up here. So you could do this on the inside of your home. Same thing with the cable. You could bring it up the wall typically in most homes, they come in, you know, through the bottom. I guess if you had a concrete slab, the cable guys may come up through the ceiling. But you could uh, drill a hole either in your top plate, uh, if you can get to it, or you could come through your shoe plate, if you can get to that from the bottom, and you could feed your cable line up the same way, install one of those boxes that has the little flip tabs, and uh, you could have your cable up here too, to where you got everything hid and it's nice and neat. You don't have a lot of uh, cables and drop cords hanging hanging down your wall if you want to mount your TV up on the wall. Friends, thank you for <clears throat> watching the little video today. I uh, hope it was helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care.